All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show to talk about some wrestling news. So we're gonna maybe get right into it here. So first, we're gonna talk about is the WWE. Uh, they have filed a trademark for Caesar Sokoa. I mean Sokoa. So they filed a trademark for that, and that tells me they're having a new person possibly join the the um, new bloodline with Solo Sokoa, what Tongaloa, or the other whatever the other one is. Is this where Jacob Fatu maybe joins the story? Maybe Solo is going to declare himself Caesar, as in ruler of the bloodline. He's likely not said Caesar yet, but I don't know. But I, that's that might be what happens. I basically basically what I assume is if that what I think happens, he declares himself Caesar, basically the ruler. Of the basically the uh, basically the tribal chief, basically put into words. Then that's when soon probably Roman Reigns returns. Then all hell breaks loose, and then it's going to be an all-out bloodline civil war. Last year was the beginning, then and soon he'll be OG bloodline versus new bloodline. When, when will that happen? I have no clue, but that's what I assume is going to happen. But that's crazy. Caesar, but I guess, is that going to be Solus Cola? That's what I assume, though. People worrying if this will be Jacob Fatu's new name. It's not going to be. It's not going to be Jacob Fatu. It's probably going to be Solo Sokoa to clear himself basically Caesar the Bloodline. Or it could be maybe somebody else new coming in. Who knows? But yeah, they follow the stray mark. Um, so that would be an XT. Uh, this week they pulled its third highest viewership of 2024. And it's highest in the uh, P18 to 49 demographic, basically 1849 demo, uh, since November of 2023. It had 724,000 viewers and a 0 0.26 in the 1849 demo. W for Chef HBK. The ratings going up. They're going up slowly and slowly for NXT, staying that consistent 700,000 mark. They've been on fire in NXT. They've been putting on some good shows. They have some good talent down there. And they said AEW is a threat when they're getting beat by NXT. Or even barely beating NXT. Joe Hendry's draw, pal. So, uh, following the attack at the end of Monday Night Raw from the uh, White Six. Um, so, following the attack from the White Six this week. WWE has removed Chad Gable. From the 2024 Money in the Bank qualifier next ma uh, qualifier match next week on hashtag did it be raw because he got attacked by the White Six. He was back there, blood coming out. Obviously, it's storyline wise, but wonder, I'm curious what they're gonna do. What what are they gonna do with Chad Gable? When will he return? Or could this maybe be a one week break? Or who knows? But this new triple threat match will be Ilya Dragunov versus Bronson Reed. Versus Bronson, that's a lot of meat in that match, pal. Big meaty men slapping meat. This is going to cook. Man, I think you could have Ilya Dragunov win this. Have Ilya Dragunov in the money in the bank, but Bronson Reed wouldn't be bad either. Because that dude can go in the ring. But you could have, but I'd, I'd like to see Ilya Dragunov win this triple threat. Just imagine an H bomb off the top of the ladder. That would be pretty good, pretty cool. It's gonna cook though. So, uh, via wrestle votes, uh, WWE and the Indiana Sports Court are nearing a multi-event deal. It's starting to be starting with the 2025 Royal Rumble at Lucas Oil Stadium, Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, Indiana, on Saturday, February 1st of 2025. So the deal is likely going to include a future WrestleMania and SummerSlam at said stadium. So looks like we're having a lot of a lot of events in Indianapolis, Indiana. That's a W for Indianapolis. Get to go some, to some wrestling events and bring the Royal Rumble to your city. But I bet Pat McAfee probably. I bet 
Pat McAfee might have had a say in this. But they, they're probably paying good money. Indy's an incredible host city. Lucas Oil looks like an amazing stadium. And that's huge news uh, for them. Great news. I'm, maybe Pat, Pat had a say in this. He's definitely going to be in the building for those because it's in his hometown. He's never going to miss a big pay-per-view. Big four pay-per-view. Especially in Indianapolis and Lucas Oil Stadium. But that's good for the Royal Rumble. I wonder how people feel about the Royal Rumble possibly being held in February. It's not a big deal since it was literally it was literally the last week of January this year. So I mean, to me, it really doesn't change anything because it was literally the last week of January. It won't make a difference. People will make it a big deal, but it was literally the last week of January. Just because it's on February first, it's not a big difference uh, to me. So the White Six, uh, they seemingly uh, shut down the Pat McAfee show. Pat McAfee and his crew were in. Obviously in the Thunderdome, uh, Jake Carr was on there. Then seemingly, uh, everything went off. Uh, it looked like the White Six. I don't know what happened after that because the screen just went black. But I don't know if anybody got attacked. Probably not. But I guess we'll see. But if anyone thought they weren't going to take over SmackDown, they'll probably be there on SmackDown, too. Which, I assume, they're going to be on every show. But, I don't know. But, this White Six storyline is going to get... Oh, it's going to be so good. It's going to be cinema. As the kids say, cinema. So, the, so the announced 2024 Money in the Bank qualifying matches starting on a SmackDown tomorrow night is Randy Orton... Versus Carmelo Hayes versus Tama Tonga, and then Kevin Owens versus Andrade versus Grayson Waller. Hmm. Interesting. I think they should have Andrade and Melo win because it makes sense. Makes sense because Randy Orton and Kevin Owens, they're probably going to be uh, in a six-man tag with um, Cody at Money in the Bank. So that's why I think Carmelo Hayes and Andrade will probably win just because. Randy Orton and Kevin Owens will probably be in a six-man tag. Melo and Andrade, because I think it's only right. And they should finally give Andrade a big win. That's just me, though. So, WWE's most viewed clips of their official Twitter post-WrestleMania season. Uncle, Hi Uncle Howdy's arrival, which was number one. Joe Hendry's arrival. Joe Hendry's a draw, pal. Liv Morgan kissing Dawn at Mysterio, a debuting Tama Tonga and Sola Sokola, turn on Jimmy Uso, and Jordan Grace arriving in XT to challenge Roxanne Perez for the championship. Roman Reigns, when Roman Reigns returns, he'll probably be number one. Uh, John Cena tells people that the sun is setting on this chapter of his life as a WB performer. I know my WWE journey is coming to an end, but fitness was a part of my life long before the WWE journey started. Fitness will be a part of my life, hopefully, as long as my heart's beating. So the WWE, it's been a great chapter in my life. It's year 23 for me and the sunset on that chapter in the book, but fitness will never not be a part of my life. Man, what a ride. Start, started uh, ruthless aggression, and now soon he's going to retire. I think they should give him a well-deserved final run to break the world championship record, because... I don't know if anybody else will break it. I mean, Randy Orton's probably the only one. I guess Randy... I mean, Randy could deserve it more, but Cena should do it first, and then Randy should break it. That'd be cool to bait. But you could have one more Cena-Randy for you, maybe. I don't know. But it, as this thing would say, my time is up, your time is now. Probably be a... There's probably, probably be a lot of people crying whenever he has his Hall of Fame speech. But he is saying like he feels better than ever at 47 years of age. So his, so his body's feeling good. But I, ho I just hope he can break that record. Give him one more shot. It doesn't have to be a long title run. I just want to break that record. Because the only other one that can really probably break it right now is probably other than John Cena, probably Randy Orton. 
Joe, Joe, I believe in Joe Hendry. Uh, his arrival in WWE this week is now WWE's most liked video on their official Twitter post WrestleMania season. 89k likes, seven plus million views, surpassing Uncle Howdy's arrival this week. Massive draw, pal. Busted open radio. Goldberg is open to having one final match. <sighs> Oh boy. We don't want to see you fight again, buddy. A botch faced in his career is classic classic Bill Goldberg. Yeah, have haven't faced Braun Breaker. Haven't faced Braun Breaker, Braun Breaker squashes him. Or have Uncle Howdy maybe face him and squash Bill Goldberg. I'll see you for the wrestling news. So until next time, I'll clock. Peace.